Hey Christopher, let's take a look at your unposed portrait assignment. Um, looking at your caption first. Jeffrey Cassidy, 55, sits outside and smokes a cigarette at Grace Mark Place, a homeless shelter located, I would say, near the Gainesville Airport. Friday, September 21st. Uh, you could do without this last sentence. Uh, we don't. Uh, unless it's a direct quote, we don't know why people are going there. I mean, it, um, so either Google Grace Marketplace and get some information off their website or use a quote or something, if that makes sense. Um, let me make sure this isn't an emergency. Oh, my goodness, they're coming in. Let me see. If could be an emergency. It is not an emergency. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, to be honest with you, I just recorded the best uh, recording I think I ever have in the history of the class um, for you going through your images, and then I deleted it. So I'm going through for the second time, uh, so you're not going to get my initial reaction, but um, um, got a lot of uh, good photos to look at. Um, 146 images, though, with the spot news. Um, I think you spent uh, 22 minutes on the, maybe 32 minutes, uh, but not very long at Grace Marketplace. So, you know, you need to spend longer than that on the assignments to get uh, successful images and to impress. Uh, so obviously we see our driver here. Um... Um, really like the kid looking out the window. This is the moment you were talking about. Let's look at your settings. Um, every your settings are good. Maybe would have gone up to four hundred ISO, but it is pretty uh, a pretty bright time of the day. You're shooting into the sun though, so it's gonna. You have to make up for those shadows. This, this needs to be zoomed out just a little bit to get her. I think she would add a lot to it. What it's missing and what you have, here you have it, um, <laughs> uh, is it, it's hard to tell it's a wreck. It, we can't really tell until we get a little further down your photos and you're at a different angle. Um, this is this is really nice light. <laughs> Where is she? See, this is the angle you needed to be shooting at, and I realize you you know just went and shot what you you know saw and uh, moved around the scene as it progressed, and that you did everything right. Um, but if you had Photograph from over here, if you were over here when that uh, stuff was going on and the student was hanging out the window and you just got the back of them, you wouldn't see their face, so it would be, you'd be able to use it. Um, I think that could have been pretty successful. So it looks like maybe, I think you did get, yeah, so I mean this is, where is she? I wish she was hanging out. Oh, and you got the light. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, I don't think it's something to hold on to for your portfolio, but I don't know. A very interesting photo. All right, trust yourself. I see you documenting the scene, you know, looking all around you, photographing everything. But this is this is what you needed to get a photo from. So I know it's awkward as hell just standing there shooting photos, you know, the same person. So I would have just taken photos, you know, uh, photo, 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 and then I would have looked down at my camera and then raised it back up to my face without making eye contact just looking at the scene through through my camera so use the camera as a shield kind of and and that makes it easier sometimes um, 
kind of, you can, you know, keep the camera down maybe until you notice, you know, someone's hanging out the window or she pops up for a look or something and, and then make the photo. But, uh, this, this is definitely the photo. Um, it just n needed, the elements just could have come together a little bit better. Um, this is what I would have, I would think, uh, well, a newspaper would have definitely wanted, you know, this shot and then maybe one of the other ones showing more of the school bus. <laughs> okay. He looks like he's smelling something bad. I'm really proud of you for taking everything you're seeing. Good job looking around the scene, following the um, the subjects. And showing this too, a lot of people forget to show, you know, the cause and effect, what what the uh, wreck is doing to the traffic or to how it's affecting other people. This is very graphic, uh, a really nice um, frame. It just needs a moment of some some sort. Now this, um, so this is the photo you used, and to be honest, you, I really didn't see the cigarette at first. I thought this was a cigarette, but it's uh, just a post. Um, and going through your photos, I like the very next one where you can see his hand. I don't know why, and the cigarette stands out better. I don't know why he chose this one. This one, the lights on his hand, and... Nothing's cropped off, so how about we just grade this one? Done. There he is. Ha. Now, here's another question. Why does no one wear sh shoes at this place? I guess they're at home, and I'm not wearing shoes either, so... Hmm. <laughs> What's he doing? Rolling a blunt? He's not, yes, he is. Okay. So this um, this is where you put the camera away and sit down. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a, a missed opportunity. Um, there's a photo about to happen here, um, and and you left. It looks like he's pretty cool. I don't know if maybe he was. Uh, I'm sure he was. Maybe freaking you out or maybe he said get the hell out of here but um he looks he looks friendly and i mean if you sit down with someone and show them you know that you're cool and interested in them um you have to immediately start you know from the first word you say you have to like start building a, a bond and immediately kind of get them to trust you uh which is it's not an easy thing to do but um we as photojournalists need to be great at it not just good so um, and you started by going to this place, uh, you and, uh, Aaron going together is perfectly fine. That's, that's cool. Um, so you took the first step, but now you just need to get out of your comfort zone even more and, and spend some more time with these people, get to know them, uh, get to find out what they're all about. He's definitely, tell me he doesn't have a story. It's about to get real freaking interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Alright, enough said. You need to take more photos. Uh, I don't need to say anything more than that. Have an awesome week, buddy.